um, they toured with The Who, so he ended up being a... Uh, hello. Hey, mate. Hello. Just doing a little interview. Uh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he basically does that in the show as well. He's got so many little cameo roles. This person, sorry, with a different wig on every time. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, should we start again? Stanton, so you are appearing in a musical in the West End here at the brilliant Ambassadors Theatre called All or Nothing. For those of the guys at home who haven't seen it, tell us what All or Nothing is about and tell us what you do. It's basically, it follows the story of the small faces who were... Uh, um, a band in the 60s, fronted by an amazing, talented guy called Steve Marriott, um, incredible singer. Um, and they were the band who sort of encapsulated everything that was mod. For those of you that don't know what a mod is, um, mods were a sort of group of, uh, it was like a following, especially of the, uh, that sort of 60s time, um, where it was all about dressing smart, it was all about being um, an individual, um, and a lot of scooters and a lot of fights with the rockers. And the band that we tell the story of were very much the sort of, um, the pinnacle of, of the music of that time and what they followed. And we follow the tragic story of Steve Marriott and, um, and the rise and fall of the band. At the time of filming, Steve Marriott's death was only a couple of days couple ago, days ago. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. The 20th of April um, uh, is unfortunately the anniversary of his death. But that is essentially sort of what we tell the story of. Um, and it's, it's sort of told to you through the eyes of the older Steve Marriott um, narrating his way through the show. But yeah, quite apt. It was only a few days ago. Yeah, he was maybe one of the, the best singers of that generation. He was asked to, to be the lead singer for Led Zeppelin um, after, right. yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, and he, you know, he turned it down because he probably didn't fancy that at the time. Mm. But you, you know, if you know Led Zeppelin as well, you'll know that Robert Plant's voice is like so. It's just extrictly similar mm. to Steve Marriott. I mean, his voice, he essentially sounded like an incredibly soulful black woman when he sang, um, oh, yeah. which are because yeah, his did, roots yeah. are from soul and, and rhythm and blues, like that's where it came from. Just very gritty and incredibly high. We know that it's amazing because like the company have found it so hard every time to find someone that can sing like mm. Steve Marriott. And now we've got um, the amazing Sam Pope who plays, who plays him. Um, He's incredible. Amazing. Like, I, like, I don't know how he does it and how he manages to do it for however many shows a week he does. Like, yeah. It's amazing. And we also have the alternate who does a few days a week, Mark, who again is incredible at it and does it very differently but still sounds exactly like him. I think there's been a few incarnations along the way, but everyone has said how difficult it is. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he was, uh, he was a legend amongst the, uh, amongst the rock and roll business. So Stanton, who do you play? So we know the stories now about Steve Marriott, mm. but it's also about the band The Small Faces. Yeah. It's not a one-man show, so tell us. I play um, another legend uh, called Ronnie Lane, uh, who was the bassist um, in The Small Faces. Him and Steve wrote, uh, they, well, they wrote pretty much all of their songs together, mm. apart from the early days when they were, they were sort of puppeted by the managers and told to do certain songs, but they wrote all of the other songs together. Ronnie Lane that went on to work with, uh, with The Faces, um, which is after Steve Marriott left them and, and did a bit with The Who and then formed his own band. And the story doesn't really touch on that, but it touches on the early days of the band and their relationships and how they all grew as young adults, really. What is your experience of playing Ronnie Lane? Obviously, you never got the chance to meet him because you're playing yeah. a real person, but they're not, they're not part of our everyday life now. Yeah, it is kind of weird. Like, there's... Um, Luckily, like I say, there's loads of footage of the guys on, on YouTube and online and there's DVDs and stuff of them performing live. Mm. And because mostly what we do in the show is, is play the music live, you know, in a gig setting. So we essentially just are, in, are, are copying what they did and the way that they performed and everything. There's books, there's plenty of stories, there's loads of anecdotes from people. I mean, I didn't get to, I haven't met his, um, obviously I haven't met him, but I've met his older brother, Stan, oh, really? um, who is a legend. <laughs> and he thought I did all right, so... So that was that was really nice. That was nice. I felt like I'd done my job okay. Because you played the bass in this show, right? Yeah. So did you know how to play the bass before the show started? I did. I did, like, basically. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pardon the pun. Uh, God, that was awful, wasn't it? <laughs> I did a bit. Um, I'd always been interested. I'd always played the guitar, played the drums and stuff. And I actually auditioned for the drummer for this show originally. Oh, did you? I yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. For Kenny, the drummer. I remember Pat, the MD, saying to me in the audition, can you just try and look a bit happier playing the drums? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I tried to, obviously not enough, because he then was like, okay, can you put the bass on? Let's see what you can do on the bass. And, um, and I looked a bit like Ronnie Lane, so they were like, that kind of works. But I had to learn a lot more about the bass mm. doing the show, 
but luckily when they started out everything was still quite simple for them there were there were young guys playing simple R&B we even listen to them now and we hear little things that we didn't hear before and then we try and put it in the music and yeah so um yeah we've all actually grown as like musicians a lot doing this show well, I bet you have yeah because yeah. how long have you been doing the show for now this sort of cast of it um relatively speaking started just over a year ago uh, and it was originally just meant to be like a four month tour and then it got extended um, and then and then we got picked up by the arts theater and then from there we're now uh, in the Ambassador's Theatre around the corner. Been to so many places all over the country. Where's your favourite place to have travelled to? Oh, like Glasgow was incredible because okay. uh, like if anyone is watching from Glasgow, like just the audience, you guys were incredible. Full of mods, full of passionate fans. Yeah. You literally had like the rafters shaking at the end of it. They were like banging on the floor and everything. So good. Um, but I loved being in Cambridge because that was just a beautiful city and Brighton was just the home of the mods. Yeah. So that was amazing. Was there anywhere where you thought, oh, God, like, you know, I, I didn't realise we were going to go there and actually there is like a massive theatre and mod scene there. Anywhere yeah. surprised you? Um, yeah, there's a few places like where there's just like little theatres and you don't think there's anything of it. Like we went down to Cornwall, hmm. um, down to Truro, kind of in the middle of nowhere and you think, well... That, I, I just wouldn't imagine there's a massive mod following. And we had like like nearly 100 scooters turn up outside really? the front. Because that happens day. a lot at these shows. Yeah, it does. We have these amazing scooter ride outs where just all the local scooter clubs get in touch and 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 end up just coming down with all their scooters and just doing a little amazing. ride out. And, you know, we, we try and say hi to them and have pictures and stuff. And they're all amazing. And um, half of them haven't seen a, a theatre show before. So, oh, wow. you know, it's good to be able to do that. And yeah. the other day, again, at the time of filming this, you did, you were on a route, you were on a bus, weren't you? You were on like a... Yeah. You were yeah, like yeah, just yeah, going yeah. all around London and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, we, we took over one of the uh, little hop-on, hop-off tour buses and we were just rocking out on the top. Uh, going through the centre of London. Confusing passers by. Um, <laughs> um, but also, it was a gloriously sunny day. And uh, yeah, so I felt like a proper 60s rock star then. We've had a couple of questions from the people across Facebook, Twitter, right. and social media. We're going we're gonna to find them and we're going to okay. ask them and I'm going to bring them to you. Okay. Cool. So this one is from Instagram and it's from Matthew Seaman. And he asked, well, he said he's seen you in All Nothing Musical twice now, which is cool. incredible. So, Thanks, Matthew. good stuff. What um, Matthew would like to know is, how do you differ your performance as Ronnie from the other band members? What about Ronnie is individual, and what mm. makes your character stand out from the small faces? Uh, very good question. He was a bit of a fool, a bit of a plonker, um, <laughs> but also he was. He ended up being like the um, the sort of spiritual one. He ended up uh, sort of discovering himself a lot more and getting involved in lots of hallucinogenic drugs and all that kind of stuff and um, as they all did in, in that time. Yeah. He differs from the band because he was the one that was a lot more grounded and a lot more um, spiritual and more the more zen one. Cool. Which is which is nice because it's kind of how I feel. Yeah. So it's nice. You're very zen. <laughs> Thanks for your question, Matthew. Thank you very much. Our next question is from Twitter and it is from Nige Portlock who asks after the show ends in the West End, will it be touring again? The simple answer is we don't know. The show's already done two tours around the country. Who knows? Who knows? It might be doing another one. It might not be. Um, it might be moving on somewhere else. Um, who knows? If you haven't seen it, come down and see it. Make mm. a day of it. And this is your first experience in the West End proper. So it how have yeah. you found it? Just oh, as like amazing. A, a man about town. Yeah, oh, it's, it's lovely. You know, I, every day I feel so grateful. And it's really weird because I came to see a show in this theatre probably about two weeks before I found out I was going to be at this theatre. Oh, really? Yeah. It is so nice to be, especially now that summer has finally hit, almost. It's nice to be in and about central London. And and we've got a completely different audience, you know. We've got tourists and we've got people that have never heard of the show. They've just seen the poster. Mm. Uh, and we've got people that are travelling from other countries because it's in London. So, you yeah. know, it's, yeah, it's lovely. So, Stanton, where is the best place for people to find out more about the show, find out more about All or Nothing, the musical? Is there a website? Where can they get tickets? Is there social media? Tell them, Stanton. All very good questions. Uh, <laughs> yes to all of them. You can go on the website, allornothingmusical.com. Um, there's links to everything there, to tickets and everything. You can follow us on Twitter, on Instagram. You can follow me if you want to. Um, What's your Twitter handle? Um, is at dstantonwright. What's your Instagram handle? At dstantonwright. Beautiful. Yeah. 
Yeah. It is a brilliant show. I can be completely impartial. I saw it some time ago and I will be seeing it again in the West End. The musical yeah. is incredible. The acting is incredible. The storyline for a musical like this is incredible. It's all live music as well. I've just got to say that because a lot of people don't know. A lot of people ask me, are you actually playing that? Is there a band underneath the stage? We are genuinely playing it. All the mistakes as well. Yeah. Uh, there are us. Come along for a live gig. And a play. Come and see the musical, it is fantastic. Stanton is incredible. If you're new to the channel, then please do subscribe. There's a little red button down in the bottom corner there. Like the video if you like Stanton, if you've seen the musical already. And comment below if you've seen the show out on tour, where did you see it? Were you in Truro? Were you in that Glasgow audience that Stanton was talking about? Let us know. I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Oh, I think that should be it, man. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Good stuff. Ha, 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 ha.